Well, I pretty much always knew it was going to lead to this. I've been riding electric skateboards now for, what, two years, two and a half years? I've tried and reviewed a bevy of production boards. Now it's time. We're going to do a DIY build. Welcome back, I'm Tony, and yeah, that is my plan. As a matter of fact, I've been putting this plan together for some time, and the parts and stuff have just all been kind of accumulating, and it's almost time now. I've got almost everything ready. Many of the production boards that I've reviewed have been fantastic, and I you know, wouldn't change a thing on them. Well, there's maybe one or two things, like the Meepo Hurricane. I put new trucks on there, the custom CNC trucks from Savage. So, I mean, you know, everything can be done on those production boards to just bring them along and make them more customized to yourself but if you're gonna do all that why not just start from scratch right well that is exactly the ball that I started rolling before Eastgate con of last year I've been learning more and more about battery packs ESC's and all of their relationship to speed and torque and everything else and then of course I've met some great people along the way big shout out to Brian at Matt Eastgate not only has he become a friend but he's, he's really good at what he does and he gifted me the deck that I'm gonna be using. It's actually the one from Omni Eastgate, carbon fiber deck. This thing, it, it's a nice deck. So again, thank you so much, Brian from Matt Eastgate, because man, that's, that, that's a big deal. You gotta have a good deck, right? And I like the carbon fiber decks. I like to put everything in there and have it all in one enclosure. So when I was looking at trucks, I wanted to have some CNC to aluminum trucks. And while I was at Eastgate Con, I actually won a set of trucks from Omni Eastgate there. I was like, oh, nice. Okay, boom, there's that. Also at Eastgate Con, I met Don Juan. And Don Juan is a great guy, man. He not not only was racing out there, but he does a lot of stuff with Mad Eastgate. Also with Xavier from Xboard. He is the repair guy for V-Real or Vario boards. I still don't know how to pronounce that. And Don Juan is also a builder, a battery builder, a board builder. After really getting to know him, I trust him implicitly. His new company is called Godster Amps and you'll find them on Instagram. So I'll put a link down in the description to that. If you've got any board laying around and the battery is dead on that thing or the ESC is dead or whatever, this guy can help you out. So it's a good idea to, to get to know Don Juan. Now, I'm not the most electronically advanced individual, so, you know, I started thinking, yeah, I could totally build this myself. And then we started looking at the VESC, which I, I picked up the Maker X that I bought from M-Board and also the Flipski remote. I've got some Flipski motors. Anyways, I'm going to send all this stuff to him because, as it turns out, I, I may not have the prowess that I thought when it comes to electronics. So I'm going to let him do the assembly and all that stuff, and then I'll put the trucks on and the gear drives, which I do have gear drives and a bash guard coming from Omni Eastgate. Big thanks to them. They've been really good to me. Now, this isn't all free stuff. I, you know, I'm going to be paying for the battery pack to be built. I had to buy the ESC, which is a uh, $300 and something dollars, motors and remote. So, I mean, you know, I, I, I was lucky enough to score some of those other parts for it, which, which is great. So I'm hoping to have this board completed before the end of summer or at least before the end of fall I you know before winter hits I, I want to get out and ride this thing I'm really really stoked about it so what I wanted to do today is show you what I have compiled so far what I'm going to be putting in the board which maybe it won't be so much DIY but more custom build right so I just want to show you all the stuff that I've compiled and how excited I am about the whole thing and then if you have any suggestions like if you do DIY or anything like that please please feel free to put those down in the comments I'd love to hear about what you think all right I'm sorry Sorry, I know I talk a lot. Let's go ahead and show you what I've got. The first thing I want to talk about is the Omni gear drive, the new Omni gear drive that they've got. This is the AT version of it, meant for all terrain wheels and larger wheel sizes. In fact, I think the smallest millimeter that they're recommending for this is 130 millimeter. Now, initially, this is exactly what I wanted to put on this DIY board, but now I'm kind of after some deliberation and some consideration, I'm thinking I might use these on another board that's dedicated to AT wheels. There's a couple of reasons for that. This new board that I'm building, I may want to put some wheels on there for racing. I might want to, as a matter of fact, I may want to put these on there. I haven't used those yet. And while well, they've got a nice aluminum pulley on them and everything else, sure, you can take this off and attach the attachments that are made for these gear drives to them and use them. But what if I want to put something smaller on there, like some cloud wheels or maybe the new wheels from Mad Wheels? Yes, they have a new version of those coming out. So I might want to do that. I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments. But either way, I'm going to use these. These are nice. As a matter of fact, if you look at their website, they've got a really good video on their website that shows you how to install these. And it's like almost like plug and play. 
you know, the previous version of these things, it came, everything was disassembled. You had to put it all together. These basically, you just change the pulley on the motor shaft and that's going to go inside of here because you've got the helical gears, which that's what these are right here. After attaching these to your trucks, I mean, it's really simple. Go watch the video. I highly recommend you do that. Which by the way, I do have a discount or coupon code. If you use code Vapor Trail, all one word, you'll get an extra 5% off. Now, currently they only have these for the D motor shaft. And yeah, that's what most production boards use. I understand that way they can help people to upgrade their production boards. I have recommended that they go ahead and make these as eight millimeter keyway or 10 millimeter keyway, which is different. And that is what these motors are gonna be using along with these pulleys. If I use a belt system, you see the pulleys on these are different. They don't have that D thing in them and they've actually got two different set screws on them. A lot of DIY people think these are better and more secure. So yeah, I've recommended that they make both options, which would make these more universal for people that don't have production boards or, you know, that have the round motor shafts. So feel free to give me your thoughts in the comments on that as well. The keyway versus the D, which that's the D. Either way, I'm really stoked with these and they're gonna go into good use for sure. Just not sure if I'm gonna use them on this DIY board or if we'll use them on another one. But yeah, when you get these, you get everything. You get all the screws, you get tools if you need them. I mean, most of the time you're gonna have them. You get your white grease, your adapters for your AT wheels. I'll be digging into that. Plus we've got the Omni Bash Guard, which goes on the front. And this is gonna be really nice, so that's really cool. This is what it looks like when it's assembled from their website. Now I've been working with Don Juan real closely on what I need to get for this board. Again, I'm still learning. This is my first DIY. Probably after this, I'll do another, and this time maybe I will do more of the assembly and stuff. But this is all a learning process, and I'm super grateful and blessed to have people that are helping me out like this. So I've got two motors here. These are Flipski. They're 6374, 190 kV, 3500 watt. All right, so these, these are gonna be nice. Got them on recommendation from Don Juan and yeah oh man this is gonna be good right here pull this one out yeah that is a that's a nice beefy motor right there Woo, doggy and we've got that round motor shaft on it so the helical gears that would go on the motor shaft that I currently have will not work for this beefy sorry if we've got a bunch of background noise of course right when I decide to do this the lawn care people decide to go out there and start cutting the lawn and everything. This is the Maker X M Boards DV6 Pro plus Bluetooth. Costs $319.99 and this is a very important part of your board. So I went for the best I could get and this is what was recommended as the best. It's also what they use inside their endurance boards, which is a fantastic board. And with that Bluetooth, I can actually use an app to make changes and you know program the thing. So that's pretty cool. Now Don Juan is also gonna be using a Bluetooth BMS so I can actually use Bluetooth and an app to check on my batteries and and tweak it and tune it so I'm looking forward to that too and then I've got the remote right here which is the VX4 flip ski remote and when I was out at Eastgate con I wrote a couple boards that were using this and I really liked it it's it just fits in the hand so nicely the acceleration wheel actually has a little nub on it which kind of makes you feel that center and which is nice and it's really, really detailed. As you can see on their website, it's VEST compatible, bright LCD with live telemetry, software updates, three speed modes and cruise control. So this is gonna be nice. And as I mentioned earlier, I've got these trucks, which are aluminum CNC trucks from Omni Eastgate. And I just happened to win these, not directly from Omni Eastgate. I was at the Eastgate Con and they had their door prizes and stuff. You had to buy your tickets for that. And I scored, man. So these are nice. These are TKP trucks. Now, I don't know if they come with these zealous bearings or not, but mine did. Really nice washers and everything. So yeah, these are gonna be great. These are the back ones, obviously, and then the front. And then we've got the deck, and this is the Omni Eastgate carbon fiber deck. Like I said, this was gifted to me by Brian at Mad Eastgate. He was like, yeah, I heard you wanted to do a DIY. I happen to have this deck that I'm not going to use, so why don't we send it on to you? Grip tape, I'm actually talking to Yoke, you know, YOC grip tape, about getting some custom grip tape for this board, Some you know, some padded stuff, but this grip tape is nice. It's nicely formed to the board. Now, again, this is my first DIY, so I don't really know. I think this is gonna go underneath this as part of protection for the battery. And this comes out and that is the inside of it right there. So man, we're gonna be able to fit a nice big battery in here. You could actually run this as four wheel drive or two wheel drive. So, you know, they've got access for both. And that is the deck. It's got a real nice W concave to it.
These are just little parts of the grip tape because there's more to it than just that piece right there. And then the other parts for the board are inside of here. Got a couple of different heat sinks here. Well, there's two of them because it's possible to run this board as two wheel drive or four wheel drive. You got these nice CNC pieces right here that are gonna be part of the deck. They go in like that. Yeah, so everything's gonna be nicely fit through those. And then of course all the other parts for the deck. This box, by the way, is a box from a Hurricane Ultra from Meepo, which I think Brian had laying around, so he used that to ship it to me. From Hawaii, that's where he's at. That's pretty much it for the big stuff. I've got some odds and ends and everything, but this is just a, a quick little kind of preview of what this board's gonna be all about. And of course, when the board is finished, I'll give you a full report and talk about everything that went into it at that point. So there we go. If you wanna follow along and see the progress of all this, check out my social media. I've got links down in the description for all of that, Instagram, Facebook, and, and here. I have a Twitter or is it X account? I haven't done a whole lot on that since it turned to X, but you know, maybe we'll keep you updated on there as well. I want to thank you so, so much for your support here on the channel. It's been around since 2013. I've done a lot of stuff on this channel in the last couple of years. I've been really showing my geek side. I've been covering electric skateboards, bikes, scooters, electric guitars, and all the accoutrements for that. Also solar panels, solar generators, and things like that. So if you haven't checked out my other content, please feel free to do so. I'd really appreciate it. You might even find something that you like. I do have a thanks button down below the video if you'd like to send a mod monetary thank you. It is not inexpensive to run these channels. All the stuff, the cameras, lights, microphones, and of course the stuff that we review, which a lot of it I have to buy along with all the other stuff I talked about. But yeah, if you'd like to leave a monetary donation, you could do that. The easiest way to support the channel is if you like what you see, give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there is a red subscribe button down there as well as a notification bell. If you click both of those, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. Again, thank you, thank you so much for your support. It is very humbling to me. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail Channel.